Let's bring Mark in, into this at uh, this moment. You, you have to be a good listener as well, don't you? And in sales, you have to really listen to what the people want, not sell them something they don't actually want. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, well, a, a question I often get asked by people, and, and the more aggressive they are, the more likely they are to ask it, is what are you going to do for me and what are you going to do for my business? And I always give them the same answer. I have no idea. I don't know anything about your business. I don't know what you've tried, what's failed, what goes well, how many people. You know, I need to understand your business. I need you to do the talking and me to do the listening. And then in exactly the same way as when you go to the doctor and he says, how are you feeling? And you start to tell him about it. The doctor or the GP will pick up on something and say, mm, tell me a bit more about that ache or how long has that been happening? And that's what I do in that kind of conversation is I pick up on things that people are saying and say, oh, let's have a little bit of a closer look at that one, shall we? And... You have to listen in order to do that. My my f least favourite call to receive when I'm answering the phone is when someone says, where's the effect of, boy, have I got a solution for you? And my answer is always the same. That's interesting. What's my problem? And they're a little bit thrown by that, which is uh, not surprising. And I try very hard not to make that same mistake. I don't turn up with a solution. I turn up with a pair of ears and a brain. And later on, uh, my mouth kicks in as well.